mesenteric ischemia. The mesentery arteries are responsible for providing oxygen-rich blood to all of the organs inside the abdomen. Sudden or chronic occlusion of these vessels could contribute to significant abdominal pain. Mesenteric ischemia is poor circulation in the vessels supplying blood flow to your mesenteric organs, including the stomach, liver, colon and intestine. With poor circulation, blockages can form and compromise the function of these organs. Mesenteric ischemia can come on suddenly or build slowly and become an ongoing health issue. It is part of systemic disease process known as peripheral vascular disease or peripheral artery disease. Acute mesenteric ischemia can cause sudden severe stomach pain, sometimes with nausea or vomiting. Chronic mesenteric ischemia often causes severe stomach pain 15 to 16 minutes after eating. The pain may last for as long as two hours and unfortunately tends to recur with every meal. You may also experience nausea, vomiting, diarrhea or flatulence. Chronic mesentery ischemia sometimes leads to weight loss. Even although the patient might feel hungry, they eat less or less frequently to avoid the pain. The causes of acute mesentery ischemia include blood clots. This is often due to a blood clot that travels to the mesentery arteries and blocks the blood flow. These clots often originate in the heart and are more common among patients with irregular heartbeat or heart disease such as atrial fibrillation. Chronic mesentery ischemia is frequently due to atherosclerosis which is hardening of the blood vessels. This is a slow progressive um, process through which the blood vessel becomes harder and narrower. Eventually, enough plaque builds up in the blood vessel to reduce blood flow and even completely block the arteries. If you have the symptoms outlined above, it would be worthwhile seeing a vascular surgeon. During a consultation, you would be asked about your history as far as smoking is concerned, high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease, and details about when and how often your symptoms occur and how long they last. The vascular surgeon will also perform a physical examination and certain investigations or clinical tests might be required, including sonar, which would include an arterial duplex Doppler of the abdomen, a CT, or a formal autogram. A computer tomography scan is a test of choice. The advantage of the CT angiogram is that it creates a detailed three-dimensional image um, by means of x-rays and cross-sections of the body. These images can identify problems with your arteries or with your abdominal organs. A formal aortogram or arteriogram is a more invasive test but might be preferred for rapid diagnosis. The added advantage is that intervention could be done at the same time. This test makes use of x-rays with contrast agents to image the blood vessels. The goal of treatment of mesenteric ischemia in general for both chronic and acute mesenteric ischemia is to restore the circulation and adequate blood flow to the intestines and the abdominal organs. This must be accomplished before permanent damage is done to any of these structures. The specifics of your condition will guide your vascular surgeon on whether to recommend treatment as an emergency or a, a, an elective basis. In acute cases, pain medication may be given to alleviate severe pain. Treatment is usually done within an emergency setting, an emergency procedure, since severe intestinal damage can occur quite rapidly. If a clot is found early, the vascular surgeon might recommend thrombolytic therapy. 
This treatment involves injecting a clot dissolving or clot busting medication into a blood vessel and is often given at the same time as a diagnostic arteriogram. If there is evidence of intestinal damage or too little time is available, available for the thrombolytic agent to work, surgery might be needed to remove the clot and to restore blood flow to the intestinal arteries. Some patients might require surgery to remove damaged portions of the intestine. This is a decision for the vascular surgeon, often made in conjunction with the general surgeon. In cases of chronic mesenteric ischemia, minimally invasive endovascular treatment options have become the first line approach in most cases. Balloon angioplasty and stenting are sometimes performed at the same time as a diagnostic angiogram to avoid a second procedure and begin treatment as soon as possible. A tiny balloon is inserted inside the narrowed artery. The vascular surgeon inflates and deflates the balloon to push block against the wall of the artery. Once the artery is widened, a uh, stent is inserted, uh, which is a metallic mesh tube designed to support the artery and to keep the blood vessel open. This is an aortogram that was done on a patient with mesenteric ischemia. Notice the narrowing of the blood vessel uh, in proximity to where the, the arrow is. This arteriogram demonstrates the placement of the stent inside the artery and in, in direct position aligned with the area of the stenosis. This arteriogram demonstrates the completed result with improved circulation to the superior mesentery artery. In this specific case, the patient's abdominal pain, which was chronic in nature, um, disappeared completely. Following the treatment of the patient, it is important to continue with a healthy, low cholesterol diet. Avoid smoking at all costs. If you do smoke, ask your vascular surgeon to help you with a smoking cessation program. Exercise regularly, stay hydrated, and manage chronic medical conditions including diabetes, high blood pressure, kidney failure, and heart disease. Thank you for your attention. For more information regarding peripheral arterial disease and other forms of vascular disease, please visit www.vascular.co.za. Thank you.